When you're working with advertisers, it's important to know your ad inventory, which is the number of ad spots you have available in your episodes. With dynamic ad insertion or DAI, you can add or remove commercials whenever you want. You can add or remove ads in a single episode, across all your episodes, or you can select specific episodes either manually or through a filtering system such as according to where your listeners are located. Now, you could create a Google Sheet and keep track of things that way, but you would be updating it quite a bit and that could get tedious. If your podcast host provider has an inventory schedule built into the platform, use it. Today, I'm going to show you what's possible using the built-in inventory feature on Megaphone, our network's preferred podcast host provider. We're in Megaphone, and let's say we want to take a look at our ad inventory. Before you can see what available ad spaces you have in each podcast and each episode, you need to make sure the system is set up correctly. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you haven't set it up before, you're going to be here, which is your dashboard, and you're going to click over here on inventory. And you have to have the right permission. If you don't see this on the side of your screen, then you don't have the right permission to access inventory. And then up here, assuming you have multiple podcasts, which I do, you're going to select the right podcast and you're going to see it says no planned inventory exists in this time frame. So before we can use this tool, we basically have to tell the system what episodes we're planning to release because it doesn't know if you've got a daily show, a monthly show, what days you release on until you tell it, okay? So let's go ahead and tell it. So I'm gonna come into podcasts and I'm gonna look for my show, Podcast Your Business. Okay, now we're in the episode section here, but if we came over to drafts, we don't have anything listed. And this is why nothing is showing up in inventory. So we're gonna come up here, click plan inventory. And this is where you tell the system when your future episodes are going to be released, as well as what spots, what ad markers do you want to be automatically, you know, included as part of each. Now you're still going to have to go in there and tell the system where in an episode does the ad marker go, but this is where you tell it in general so you can add it to inventory. This particular show releases on Thursdays. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark Thursdays. Now this is for May, but let's say I want to plan this out through the rest of the year, which I actually do. <laughs> Killing two birds with one stone here. So you click the arrow up here and just click all the Thursdays. So this would indicate that it's a weekly show and I'm just literally going to do this for the rest of the year. So I've selected all the episodes, right? If I go back, all the purple ones, right? They're all selected. Now I need to tell it what ad markers do I want available in each episode. I usually do a pre-roll and a post-roll. And for this show, there are two mid-roll breaks, okay? So I do that and watch what happens. I click create episodes. It may take a second because that's six or seven months worth of uh, draft episodes it has to create. And this is what it does. So this is the criteria I gave it, right? I gave it the date and I said what my planned ad locations were going to be. It gives it a default episode title, which of course you're going to change later on. It is simply the date you said the episode was going to be published. So when you come into episodes now, instead of just coming over and clicking create episodes, you're going to go to drafts and you're going to select the proper episode, and then you can delete this and add all the content like you normally would. Okay, let's go back. So now I have told the system what episodes are coming up in the future. So if I went back now to inventory, and I select my podcast, here we go, look. All of the ad spots, right? I said it had a pre-roll. I said there was a post-roll and I said there were two mid-roll breaks. So use this up here. This is kind of like your column headers here. These are the dates. 
This is when the episodes are scheduled to release. Now, when you are scheduling campaigns, the only thing that's going to show up in here is actual campaigns. Promos won't show up in here. None of your programmatic ads will show up in here. Only things that have been added as campaigns. So if I were to create a campaign and let's say I scheduled the ad, a dynamic ad for the entire month, then it would show up here and the name of the advertiser would show up wherever I scheduled it to go. If I scheduled it as a pre-roll, it would be here. Let's say it was the entire month of June. That's when the ad was supposed to run and it was a pre-roll. Then it would show up in here. And then you would know at a moment's notice, an advertiser could call you and you can look here in inventory and see what inventory is available. So if they say, we want to run an ad in June, for the whole month of June and we want it to be a pre-roll and I already have an advertiser here, I can say, sorry, that's not available, but I can do July or I can do a mid-roll. See, all of these spots are available. This inventory feature is really helpful if you're working with multiple sales teams so no one overbooks your show. For more information about how we here at Independent Podcast Network can help you find advertisers for your podcast and fill up that inventory page, Click the link in the description. 